Hi friends! Uh, just a reminder of some of our puppets that come and join us at preschool. Some of them are co not quite ready to come here yet because they kind of need us to learn some manners. They learn to not be tattletelling and whining and some of them are really loud so they're noisy and they're not good listeners and so we're going to talk about some of our puppets. And you know what? Some of our puppets are very, very good. And they listen all of the time. And others, we need to help teach them so that they can be a little better. So our first puppet that I'm going to show you is Rude Rex. Rude Rex is not always nice. Huh, Rude Rex. Hey, don't try to hit me, Rude Rex. You have to be nice, okay? He sometimes spits on friends. He sometimes he pushes friends out of the way. He always wants his way and he always wants to interrupt and be rude to Miss Patrice. He doesn't use good manners. Sometimes I have to make him fold his arms and he tries to, hey, be nice. You know what, Rude Rex, we want you to eventually come to preschool. So we need to teach Rude Rex to come to school. Right now he's not quite ready, but we're going to get him so he's ready to come to school soon. I want him to be able to come to school. Rude Rex just isn't ready yet. Look at this one. Whining William. He whine, whine, whines. He whines about everything. And sometimes that's really hard for all of us when we're like, Whining William, you get what you get and you don't throw a fit. But I wanted the pink one. I know. And sometimes we don't always get what we want. And it's okay. It's okay not to get everything we want, right? Oh, good job. Whining William's learning. But I wanted to go and do that, and you let other kids do it instead. Oh, we're still working on Whining William. He needs to keep working on trying to be a little better at the other people. Oh, my goodness. This one is one of my favorites. She is so sweet, and she comes to our school, and she's so much fun. And you know what? She really is a good listener. She listens to Miss Patrice, and it makes me really proud of her. Because sometimes listening is really difficult when you're busy and you're thinking of all kinds of other things. But guess what? This is Lollipop Lisa. She's really sweet and she's a lollipop listener too. So she listens really well in preschool. When Miss Patrice is talking or she's teaching circle time or she's teaching stories and it's time to be a listener in preschool, Lollipop Lisa, she's so good to listen. And sometimes she will give out lollipops. You're so good in school, huh? She has lots of friends in school. Everybody likes Lollipop Lisa. She's very kind. Oh my goodness, this one is not allowed in preschool at all. We are really working on this one. This is Mean Max. Mean Max. Oh, he just kicked me. You can't kick. It hurts when you kick. He pulls hair. He pushes friends down. He doesn't share. He takes toys. Don't kick me again. And he calls people's names and he is not nice. Mean Max, sorry, buddy. You can't come to school yet. You are still learning how to be kind because you are not being nice to Miss Patrice. And you're not, don't kick me or hit me, okay? He is not very nice in school. So we are going to work on it. He just keeps kicking. At, he's even kicking himself. We can't have him at school. Sorry, Mean Max. Too young. Don't know what you're supposed to be doing. You should be a better listener in school. This one is a very special friend of mine. His name is Quiet Quinn. It's okay, Quiet Quinn. We're just seeing our friends. This is Quiet Quinn. And Quiet Quinn, he's very quiet. And he sometimes will give out copying good points. And he'll give out stickers. Because sometimes he sees friends that are being very good and quiet. It's okay to be shy. It's okay. So sometimes we're quiet. Quiet Quinn is always invited to school. He listens to Miss Patrice and he does what he's supposed to do. He's our friend, huh? Remember Quiet Quinn? He sometimes comes and gives us stickers. He's really fun. I like him a lot. Oh, goodness. Hmm. This is Noisy Nancy. Oh, she's really loud. Noisy Nancy, you got to be quiet. For a minute, she just doesn't listen in school, and she's so loud in school, and she doesn't listen because I have thoughts and stuff to tell you, Miss Patricia. You cannot talk in preschool. 
You have to be a listener or you won't learn. So sorry. Sometimes we have to be quiet and no noisy Nancy says, oh, okay, okay. And you are a good girl, but you're just too loud in school sometimes. And we need to use our outside voices outside, inside voices inside. Oh my goodness, this one right here. She likes to tattle on everyone. Her name is Tattling Tina. And Tattling Tina, guess what, Miss Patricia? What, what happened? <laughs> Somebody went over and touched the train table. Oh, okay, Miss Patricia has eyes and Miss Patricia can see and she will stop them so you don't need to tattle. All right, guess what, Miss Patricia? What? Um, I just saw that that person right there, she was looking at me. Okay, I'm sorry that she was looking at you, but guess what? It's okay for her to look at you and you just need to turn away. Uh, Miss Patricia? Yes, what's going on, Tina? I just have to tell you that that other little boy, he was like touching your wall. Oh boy, well that's a lot for you to tell me about, but guess what, Tattling Tina? We don't need to tell Miss Patrice everything. We don't need to tell me. Don't tell Miss Patrice when anybody's doing things that are really not that important, okay? You only tell Miss Patrice when somebody hurts you or if somebody's being mean like Mean Max or Rude Rex. Those are times where you talk to Miss Patrice about it, but we don't need to tattle on everybody just to get them in trouble, right? Okay, so she's going to work on that. I hope Tattling Tina can come back to preschool. This is my very favorite one. Her name is Happy Hillary. Everyone smile. She's always happy, huh? You're always happy. She misses her friends. She loves you guys. She's missing you. And she gives out caught being good coins when she sees you helping me in class, cleaning up after yourself, doing your work, helping your friends, sharing toys, when you're using good manners, all of those things. Happy Hillary is the best ever. We love her, huh? Happy Hillary has something to say. I miss all of you so much. She does miss you just like Miss Patrice misses you. I love you guys and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day.